Hello everyone, welcome to me Harsi YouTube channel. In the previous video, I have shown you how to use MATLAB IDE without heavy installation, free for students online. Currently, I was doing my assignment uh, for my college, so I thought I would, uh, why not I would give you some insight of uh, how to do, I mean, where to write the script, where is the, where does the command window appears, and some easy and typical uh, program. So this program I was, I had written. Uh, for uh, getting Fibonacci series so uh, first of all I will rename it okay so I will go uh, left click and write rename and here I will write H A R S H I and this it is my name and Fibonacci okay so enter right so I will double click on it so this is the program uh, if you have any uh, you have done some programming in C or Java, you know what is a Fibonacci series. Actually, it is a series where the first term is 0, then the next term is 1, and after that, the next term is the sum of the previous two terms. So, the next term will be 1. So, let's see if this program runs or not. So, I will click on run, and now it gives me in the command window that enter the number which you want to find Fibonacci. Okay, so I will click here and enter suppose I want the Fibonacci series up to 5 terms. So I will click 5 and then enter. So see the first term is 0, then the second term is 1, then uh, let me uh, zoom, uh, zoom this window. So then the next term is the sum of previous two terms. This is 1 and the next term which is this is the sum of these two terms so 1 plus 1 is 2 and the next term is the sum of these previous two terms so 1 plus 2 is 3 now let's uh, see something about the programming uh, to get familiar with uh, syntax of MATLAB so first of all I have asked the user to give me input by saying enter the number up to which you find Fibonacci and that is stored in the variable n now I have defined that FIBO which is a variable for 1 is 0 then FIBO for 2 is 1 and then I have uh, entered into a loop saying that for i starts from 3 increases by 1 goes up to n FIBO i equals to FIBO i minus 1 plus FIBO i minus 2 which says that uh, the Fibonacci term is equals to the sum of previous two Fibonacci terms given that Fibonacci first term is 0 and Fibonacci second term is 1 and now uh, I have written here for i starts from 1 uh, increases by 1 goes up to n display Fibo i it means it will display each and every Fibonacci series up to the number n which you have input okay so let's run it once again and find out what it does it do I will enter here suppose 10 okay so on pressing enter it gives me let me zoom out this window uh, first 0 that we defined then 1 then after that sum of previous two terms 1 then 1 plus 1 2 and that was but one thing you notice here is uh, whenever we are running this uh, program again and again this command window is not getting clear so for that what we do we type here clc semicolon clear all close all ok so now let's see on running what does happen so you see that when we run this whatever was there in the command window gets vanished ok that's it for this video uh, see you in the next video